Titus Shudifonya and Philippe Stenga also retained their positions as members of the management committee. Sikongo enumerated several projects executed by the regional council under his leadership, including in the education and health sector, water and sanitation, as well as roads construction, among others. Construction of more than 140 VIP toilets and a rural sanitation program, construction of 75 houses under the Shack Dweller Federations at Rupara uh, Village, 32 more houses currently under construction. Implementation of the Rural Electrification Program. Through this program, close to 10 schools and four villages, uh, villages such as Matende, Karanawa, Bravo Settlement, Namasira checkpoints were electrified. He says a total of 89 classrooms were constructed at various schools while other projects are ongoing. Among those is the construction of Simanya and Satotua combined schools through a Chinese government grant. He says hostel facilities at several schools are under construction, among these at Kachinakashi and Nautkova primary schools. Sikongo says the intervention by the regional council brought about the return to production at the Musese Green School. I should applaud Mr. Metzega for the improved production at Musese Green Scheme. Because of him, we are able to buy maize meal right at Musese and our children are able to receive a maize meal for soft porridge for school feeding program. Sikongo was pleased to report that 35 boreholes were drilled, 15 sponsored by Recon Africa and 18 funded by government. He is also happy with the ongoing construction of the Charlie Catline Road, where 41 kilometers graveling has been completed. Several government ministries and agencies as well as private businesses are now rendering services at Nkurenkuru. Sikongo believes are among the council's success.